Family and friends will come together today to remember Jesse Maxwell. He died while working to clear debris in Jasper County on Friday. There is going to be a celebration of life at 6 p.m. at the relevant church in Locust Grove. Maxwell leaves behind a wife and four children. The family and attorney for UGA offensive lineman Devin Willock are holding a press conference this afternoon. They are hoping to get more questions answered surrounding the crash that took his life and the life of UGA staffer Chandler Lee Croy on Sunday. According to a news release, the lawyers plan to talk about the accident investigation and the legal actions that Willock's family is taking. 11 Alive received that incident report from officials in Athens. It reveals Willock, Lee Croy, and two others were in a rented car. Lee Croy was driving, Willock was sitting behind her. We asked UGA and police about whether the school rented that car and whether Lee Croy was on the clock when the crash happened. They are still looking into that. Investigators say they did not find obvious signs of alcohol at the scene, but they are working on a toxicology report. We have team coverage right now and a team that's going to be at the news conference for you later on this afternoon at 2. We're going to stream it as well on 11alive.com and bring you the very latest starting on the news at 5.